Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Breaking news on no government allegedly attack a car police station in Akwa Ibom State this morning and this is making it the second time as news record. Welcome back again to this channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you all according to your time. Yes, my correct people, before we go into today's news, if it's your first time here, you are highly welcome. To all my returning subscribers, I appreciate you all for your massive support. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly smash on that subscribe button. Put on the bell so you will know anytime I drop a new video. Thank you very much for doing that. So on today's news, we are going to be watching it together. And after watching it, Let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion day till I come your way again. Bye bye. Yes. This is a confirmation from Namdi Kanu. So we can now see that that divide and conquer tactic that worked so well in the colonial era has failed. There's nothing like that, and it's wonderful to see that unity. Great. And that's a rhetoric everywhere. Okay, first. <clears throat> I mean, before now, what we had was that uh, IPO and uh, uh, the. Uh, who do our people's uh, congress who work together on certain ideological lines uh, to ensure security uh, but so it was shocking when uh, commissioner of police lagos akimo dumuso you know announced publicly uh, that they had indications that 24 separatist yoruba groups were planning to attack lagos and that uh, you know even ipop was uh, targeting uh, certain installations in lagos so the clarification from iba gani adams and also from minandi Kano, I'm sure will come, you know, nerves and help to reduce the tension that was generated by the statement by C.P. Odumoso. However, C.P. Odumoso, you know, as Commissioner of Police, is in a position to have access to some security information. He's not just a member of the uh, State Security Council. He leads, uh, you know, the police uh, command in Lagos, and he works in concert with other uh, security agencies in Lagos. So what exactly did he know? Was he quoted out of context? Was he misinterpreted? Whatever it is, uh, what he said will seem to amount on the surface of it to scaremongering. And when you do scaremongering, you can create panic. We've said repeatedly on this program that, look, state officials should refrain from uh, uh, expressing oh, helplessness, oh, okay. from uh, coming to the public to lament. They nice? are wearing yes. that uniform because they've been given an assignment by taxpayers, by the people of Nigeria, to provide security. So there are certain kinds of information that may not be necessarily useful uh, to the ordinary people because you can escalate the level of threat within the community. It is important, whatever Odumusu knows, to work in concert with others to make sure that Lagos is safe. That's his job. He should focus on it. And then Namde Kanu saying, this is not uh, 1967. I think he chose uh, a very good uh, metaphor in that regard. In 1967, when the civil war broke out, Many Igbos, either in the north or in Ibadan, or even in Lagos or Port Harcourt, they had to rush back home because the level of hatred, animosity, mm. the targeting of the Igbo population was uh, very high at Correct. that point. And Lagos at that time was the federal capital city of Nigeria. So Lagos was targeted because the war was between Nigeria and the Biafran Republic that had been declared. So Namde Kano is right that this is not 1967, and I think he's right in trying to reassure you know, uh, the people, uh, that there's no animosity between yeah. Yorubas and Igbos, and that this is a divide and rule tactics. Where that divide and rule uh, strategy is coming from should be investigated. So there is an assignment here for even the Department of State Services to ensure that criminals uh, do not take over the space the way they have taken over other spaces across the Federation. Very well said, Dr. Abati. I thought it was important to highlight the story. Rufai. I mean, there's so much confusion everywhere. I don't know what's happening. So much confusion. You hear one rhetoric here, we hear the rhetoric here. When all we should be concentrating on is how to develop this country. We've heard so much from the security authority. You don't even know the one that is true or is a lie again. What is really going on? What's going on? What's going on? Please, if we come together and live in peace and harmony and our leaders do what is right for the people, We'll not have to go through all these security scares every time. I'm happy, oh, 
that none of the cameras come and say, no, there's no attack on Lagos. But the question is, how did we even get to this point in the first place that there are agitations everywhere? How did we get to this point? Return to democracy was supposed to be a thing of joy after we fought the military out. And it was supposed to be consolidation of development. But how do we get to this point? That 20 years back into civilian rule that we fought so hard for many years ago, we are tearing of division, secession and everything and all of that. What's really going on? What's going on? The same military that hopes to provide, uh, uh, pro protect and uh, provide properties has turned themselves into militaries of killing, raping and miming innocent individuals and rendering our area and our youth jobless. So many others have decided to treat us in the same manner. Don't worry because we are coming to destroy all your infrastructures in Abuja and Lagos. Even to the oil companies operating in our region that have decided to undermine our people, be rest assured that your days will soon catch up with you. Due to the ins insensitivity nature of the Nigerian government on issues that are bothering its citizens, today the country is in turmoil. Protests everywhere and strikes in several sectors. The NSAT process that took place crippled the nation, almost crippled the national economy. It is among such ill treatments that gave birth to this unprecedented protest. Nigerian government how to give our citizens good governance. Today, the various zones in the country are calling for division of the country called Nigeria. So, as a group determined to give total liberation of our people, we will destroy all the oil facilities, both onshore and offshore. In no distance time, we will be seen to be crippling the Nigeria economy in no distance time as well. Welcome back, my correct people. This is really getting serious. And please, let's just go to the comment section and discuss about what is happening in Nigeria, like the video, also share the video so that other people will get to know what is really happening. Till I come your way again, stay cool, stay blessed, stay safe. I love you all. Bye-bye.